Alright folks, here we go. I did some checking in the front of the kiln. It is at about 2,000. Now I want to take a look at this, see what we've got going here. Oh boy, is that pretty. as good for you as it is for me. Oh boy, that's getting hot. I didn't do this last time and it sure as hell didn't help much. Oh, I'm going to start turning in this out. Pulling in cold back into the pig nose here. Oh, boy. See some pots in there. that way. Oh, let's get rid of this big old chunk of ironwood. Oh. Stick a piece of balsam in there, eh? Get rid of it. Hole under there to the bore looks good. I suppose I could stir it up a little. I don't knock you over. Make sure the throat arch doesn't get clogged, but it looks pretty open to me. The one that ain't open is the... Uh, this one here. Or what? The pig nose.
got to rearrange this one. Huh. Pretty good. I'm gonna keep that bank of coals built up so when I throw stuff on from the side, it'll catch good. Oh boy, I don't have anything in there. Throw some little stuff first. How's that looking? It's looking pretty neat. Let those cook down a little bit so they don't get clogged. Well, all right, that's enough of that, eh? Shall we go take a look at what uh, the future holds? Yeah, let's 
Let's see what these things say. Wow, 1950. 1550, what happened here? 113433 All right. Well, let's put those where they belong. Bye-bye. Well, all right, folks. We're making some good progress today. Got a nice little old flame coming out there. And a moon bright shiny in the sky. Got some real nice fire going on here. I think I got it set good. Better than it was before. Don't know if you can see that. Maybe we'll get it out in the wash. Yeah, let's see what the... Thermometer says, oh boy, there's a nice shot in there. Getting some color. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, 1530. Hey. Wow. Oh, I guess I better change the page here. All right. Got some nice temps here. Well, later. Okie doke, folks. Here's a little treat. <laughs> Climbed up here. <clears throat> That's how much damper I got. And I'm going to close it a little bit. But I just thought I'd shoot this for what it's worth. All right. Later. Wow, well, folks, there's the... There's the secondary stoke hole in the door, and look, you can see the shine on some of those pots. Wow. Uh, this is looking real good. I looked for my cones up front, and I can't find them because they're melted. Boy, is that sweet. Well, okay, let's uh, cut that off for a minute. All right, folks, let's do a little side stoking here. <clears throat> Let me get my gloves back on. The front's done. The front of the chamber is done. remember what this was. A couple of pots in there. Wow, 
Well, I'm stoking. That's right, there's a pot there. That is a great. Whoa! I guess that was it, eh? Alright, later. Alright, I think I got it now. I'll open the chimney a little bit. Chimney cap was too closed. Keep it closed just a little bit like that, it'll draw air. Burn. Well, let's not take too much time on that. That's how that secondary stove hole works. Alright, well, there's the firebox there. And you know why I can't see any cones? Because they're all melted. See that little lay thing right on the front shelf? That's uh... That's the cone pack. I think we got glaze melt everywhere. Except in the back. Need to... Work on that a little. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Again, eh? Let's try that again. We'll kind of put a couple of sticks in there just for the for the show. See how we lost our bag. There we go. Seems like I see something shiny here. And that lid. I don't remember what I put on. Teapot. Big old teapot was <laughs> Kenyon Henson. teapot and a bunch of my pieces, of course. So, that's about that. Later. Probably end up shutting her down here pretty soon. I'm getting kind of tired. A couple of days I've been up stoking. Haven't used all the wood. Amazing. Amazing, Grace. Alright. Thanks for watching. Later.